AI is getting more amazing every single day. And I want to show you some next level stuff in this video. Also, Stable Diffusion Thailand, I met them today. I made an interview. I want to show you some pretty mind blowing AI artworks. But first, let's talk about Midjourney Alpha. If you have generated over 5,000 images on Midjourney, you have access to the Alpha. Just go to alpha.midjourney.com and this is what it looks like. Now, it's a very intuitive interface. On the top, you have something that looks like a search bar, but actually this is where your prompt goes. On the left side as a plus, when you click on that, you can upload images here to use as an image prompt. So that is very intuitive. On the right side, you have settings here, and that makes things really easy. Here you have a slider for the ratio that goes from one to one to two by one. And of course, you can also go the other direction very easy. You can also, if you have the ratio, just click here to switch it over between vertical and horizontal. So that makes it super easy. Then you have here different sliders for stylization, weirdness and variety. And in case you ask yourself, what does this actually mean? Simply mouse over these words and you will see the explanation shown to you. Also, the command this actually uses inside of the prompt. Then here you can select between the modes, which is the standard and the raw mode. Again, you can mouse over these words to get the explanation of what that means. You can choose the version here down to version one, which is really crazy. You can go really old school if you want to, and also the different niche versions down here. And of course, the speed with relax, you can create unlimited images every single month. If you have the middle subscription, which is about, I think, $24 per month and fast is good and fast, but it counts against the limit of images you can create. And then, of course, it has also turbo mode, but there is more because you can see on the left side here, we have a menu. It says Explore. With Explore, you can simply scroll through all of the images that are created by the community. If you find anything you like, you can go with your mouse over that. And down here, you have multiple icons. The first one will use the image as an image prompt. So you can use the image input and write your own prompt. The second one is going to add the prompt to the bar up top. You can also edit it before you send that. And you can, of course, use both of them together by clicking one after another. You also have here a search icon. When you click on that, it is searching for more images that look similar to that. And you can also click here to the like button to add it to your favorites. Very, very useful. However, you go here to create, it's going to show you the images you have created last. The cool thing here is you see the four images you have created. On the right side, you see the prompt with the settings that come with the prompt, also very useful. And when you mouse over an image, you can have a variation created, subtle or strong variation. And if you click on the image on the lower right side, you have a lot of different settings you can do here. You can make variations, upscaling, you can pen. Panning means that the image is going to be extended or outpainted into that direction. You can also zoom the image. This is also rendering around the image in the strength that you want to zoom out of the image on all four sides. You can also rerun the prompt. You can remix the prompt. You can use the image or the prompt again to create new images from that. And the cool thing is on the right side here, you have a list of your recent images. And with the mouse, you can simply scroll through them. Very useful, intuitive and fast. Of course, you also have here your archive, which has a nice big previews again. You can simply scroll through that. Here you can see some fancy cool pictures I have created in the past. And then, of course, I can just work off of them by using these buttons over here to go deeper into that. Now, the alpha doesn't have all of the functions. For example, you will see that you don't find any in painting here. So this is not 
the full mid journey experience but it already has a lot of functions and i would say it is very intuitive and there is even more on the lower left here you see you can click on community on view help and then also on the dark or light mode so if you go to the website and it's very bright and you need sunglasses simply click here and this will switch over to the dark mode for you i have to say that the mid journey alpha already gives a lot more comfort and usability with the mouse over you don't have to remember everything that mid journey can do this will make the process more fluent and intuitive one of the biggest strengths of mid journey that you have this humongous archive of community generations that you can build on and remix to go really deep very fast with your artistic work however there is a tool that is even more crazy this is korea ai if i move one of these shapes this is updating in real time and as you can see on the lower part here i have my prompt you can write anything you want and then of course get the live creation from that as you can see here you can do some really amazing very very cool stuff and then if you find something you like you can go even deeper with that you can enhance that and play more with that so this is next level you don't need to have a good gpu this is rendering on Korea ai and it is using their cloud gpu you don't have to install anything and have a lot of fun with that at the moment completely for free so you can upload images you can create shapes you can paint on that area you can even use a graphic tablet to paint really nicely on the right side here you have different kind of modes right now i have the cartoon mode check that out this is not an advertisement i just feel like this is something that more people should experience themselves and now i want to show you some very stunning results from the thailand stable the fusion community this will blow your mind let's have a quick look at the works that the artist has created before we listen to the interview and what i really enjoy about these images is the amount of detail but especially also the amount of emotional expression and interaction between the actors and the image this guy here is on a market he's painting an image of a dragon the details are very beautiful she's taking pictures of him while he is painting the way she's looking at the picture everything here is so emotional and expressive has so much interaction between the characters also look at all the different details that are happening here in the image the different layers you have with the foreground the middle ground the background where you see people walking here in the background on the market these little details here with the lamps hanging in between of the tree leaves and the tree branches very very nice everything here also has very nice and consistent colors that connects everything together now here we have another image in the middle and look again how emotionally everything is how the characters interact with each other she is sitting on the ground having these images on the floor before her you can see very nice bokeh in the foreground with the softness here he has picked up one of these images holding it in her hand the interesting dynamic way he is crouching down next to her everything really beautiful from the expressiveness and then on the right side here we have another scene where she is back in her studio and looking at the pictures she has created with her camera some equipment in the background again with soft bokeh in there everything about that is very lovely the colors look very professional the posing the composition all of that is really amazing now of course all of this doesn't come cheap this is not just a text prompt this takes days to create per image with all of the in painting and the preparation let's listen to the interview about the process this is about the art contest of the stable diffusion thailand community he's one of the contenders my name is a i am interior designer but i use sd sometimes so you're a professional designer 
Yes. Do you also use AI in your work process or just as a hobby right now? Yes, and I use AI for my project. The AI. For, for, for my work. Also in interior design? Yes. I use for change some detail and some element, but I use stable diffusion. And for this specific uh, artwork, you said you started with BIM or DALI 3 to create the images, right? Yes, and then I use stable diffusion to share something excellent picture as scale and uh, use in painting for share some detail. How did you come up with the composition of the works? The last one I use 3D model. Mm -hmm. I made 3D model from SketchUp. 3D program is called to emotion, to rendering the real light, the real material. Uh, so you had uh, like a color input for the 3D image, not just gray values, but an actual 3D render with colors and everything in it as a base for the image. Uh, yes, I use a real material and a real color and change some detail. Right. But I think um, 80% is from 3D, about light, about material. And for the first two images where the guy is painting the dragon and where the woman is sitting on the ground, these compositions are kind of random from AI or did you do a sketch before the mm -hmm. composition? Okay, the front and the second is from uh, BIM. And I explain this picture and I have a choice. When you use stable option, you can choose one, two, three, four images and choose that you want. For the first two images per image you generated, how many images in total did you have to create uh, with Bing and uh, to mm -hmm. come up with that kind of composition? I think 80. 80. 80. And then afterwards, you bring it into stable diffusion and do an in painting. Mm -hmm. How long is that process per picture? I think about one day, about eight hours. So what kind of model did you use to get these amazing details? Mm -hmm. I use model Real Vision V3 Turbo. I think this checkpoint has a more detail than other that I try. What is your favorite trick in stable diffusion mm -hmm. to get these high quality images? Mm -hmm. I think my secret is impending because you can impend everything uh, is uh, simple. I want a girl that's long hair. I draw, I draw them. The line. The line of over of the line. Hand. Over the painting and then you do the ink painting. Yes. Ah, if so I want guidance. Yes. yes. If okay. I want something that I can draw, I use a UV trick machine. Right, right. So get the result faster. Of the hair shade and things. Awesome. Very good. Let's look at some more images from this contest. What I love here is the amount of details and also the amount of interaction and expressiveness that we have inside of these images. Really crazy. The amount of detail here with these mechanic dragons. Very amazing. What I really love is this scene down here where she is sitting on a spike of the head of that dragon. That's really crazy. The way the pose she's sitting on there, leaning on there, she's a little bit like floating in the air, I give you that. But the amount of details and expressiveness is really beautiful. And again, the way the colors work together is also very, very good. Over here we have another detail where she is welding on the dragon, on his teeth. Again, very beautiful. Really like the sparks flying here. There's a lot of in-painting going on. There's a lot of different techniques being applied to get this amount of detail, but also this very nice composition. The silhouettes of the body against a very monotone background so you actually can see the details better so there is a lot of thought going into the creation of these images this is more than just randomness this is actual planning and artistic execution of a very nice work let's look at another series of images dragons because the year of the dragon is happening right now and here we have basically the old original dragon and 
you can see here very beautiful again sitting on the houses you can see very nice the dimension and the size of the dragon and then this image here i like a lot where they recreate the dragon out of other materials metal glass maybe the way this head of the dragon is transparent and has all of these details in there and the guy standing here working on that head really beautiful composition very nice control over the colors very nice storytelling here really really beautiful and then in the last image we can see here the mechanical dragon that has been brought back to life through the process so this is basically the story here the original old dragon has died and then it was recreated as a machine really interesting story and very nice execution here we have another series of images called the path of the dragon and here again we have very beautiful and cinematic images with a lot of control over the composition over the colors over the details also again the soft bokeh here that makes the background more mysterious that she's looking into that landscape very nice idea here we have another element where she is meeting the dragon in the wild now of course you can see here some of the details are changing the backpack is not exactly the same even though it has the same color and a similar design but you can still recognize the person and again the composition the colors how they work together everything beautiful you can see also this has a very different setting from the mood the first one was a very warm and hopeful image here the situation is more dire from the muted colors and in the last image we have this kind of maybe digital holographic dragon that is happening here looks really beautiful this has from the colors and composition a lot more hope and playfulness are written into it and you can see a connection between her colors with the hair and the clothing and the colors of the dragon and the buildings in the background so everything is coming together again very nice artistic direction here to create these images not just randomness but actual artistic expression and then the last series of images i want to show you from this contest this was actually the contest winner he came up with a fantasy story for a chinese barbecue recipe for roasted pig you have here the dragon and he is roasting the group of pigs here with his fiery breath and this then has turned into a tradition you can see here the people who are celebrating the situation here the pigs of course are not very happy about that but when we go down here to the two other images i really like especially the image where everybody is sitting together at the table look at the beautiful expressiveness the emotion in there the connection between the different actors how they look at each other how they are laughing about a joke having really fun i really also like how the pig is lying there on the table really amazing detail again also with the direction of the color how everything is coming together is amazingly beautiful really great work the note to take away from these entries and the works that have been created is that ai is moving far beyond being just a random thing created by a prompt and actually becoming artistic expression that takes a lot of time effort and skill but the results are absolutely stunning and i personally love all of these amazing entries into the contest let me know in the comments what you think about these entries thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon bye oh you're still here so uh this is the end screen there's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool and yeah i hope i see you soon uh leave a like if you haven't yet and well um yeah